Hello, beta. Good evening, everyone. Beta, in today's class, I will discuss all the must-do Indian economy topics that you should not leave. This is the topic that you have to do for sure, and you should not be missing on these topics. Huh? The first one is LPG policies. But LPG is related. You should be aware about everything. Everything money, you should know why LPG came, why LPG was introduced. You should be aware about who was the prime minister, who was the finance minister during that period. You should be aware about all the uh, you know, out, all the outcomes after LPG. Matlab, kitne se foreign direct investment badi, kitne privatized sector, pub, uh, kitne public sector privatized ho gai, uh, what happened to license Raj. So you must be aware about the outcomes of the LPG policy also. And then beta, you should be aware about terms like uh, Maharatnas, Navratnas, This is just some names of the public sector organization, Maharatna and Navratna. Then within LPG, you should also be aware about uh, what led to LPG. India had um, you know uh, reserves for only how many days and kitna foreign reserve India gave us. So that's the first important topic that can be asked in exam. But the second important topic that can be asked in exam is monetary policy committees. Monetary policy committees. So, is me kya kya sakte? What is Rangaraj committee? <coughs> Sorry. What is Rangarajan committee? Huh? Or where uh, usme kya Rangarajan committee me exactly kya kya hua? And then you should be aware about other monetary policy committees also. Huh? So, jitni bhi Urjit Patel monetary policy committee, konsi monetary policy committee hai, which asked you to introduce UPI system, payment banks, huh? payment gateways jo aai hai, wo kis committee ki under aai hai? So, you have to be aware about all kind of monetary policy committees. Third, then beta, you must be aware about the difference between 14th and 15th finance commission and which finance commission gave weightage to what? Ye janna bohat zaruri hai. This is available on the YouTube video also, YouTube video section. Ki what is the difference between the 14th and 15th finance commission? And kaun se finance commission ne kya bola? You must be aware about that. Which finance commission gives weightage to population of 1971? Kisne 1971 ke population ko weightage diya? How much weightage is given to forest? How much weightage is given to ecosystem? Ye sab janna, it is important. Then, beta, the fourth thing that you will be all aware of is called as the concept of drain of wealth. Kis ne drain of wealth ke concept ko coin kiya? Who coined the term drain of wealth? And uh, isi ke under, you must be aware about who gave the concept of national income? Who first calculated National income. Subse pehle India mein kisne national income ko calculate kiya? Who first calculated the scientific form of national income? Right, beta? To ye janna aapko bohat hi zaruri hai. Then the next topic which all of you will make yourself aware about is the different kind of land relation. To zamidari system. Haan, we have done this in class. Huh? Ryotwari system mein kya hua tha? And other systems what happened. So you have to be very aware about the zamindari system. Ki zamindari system mein kya kya tarike the? And who gave which zamindari system? And uh, then in which period and which area that zamindari system was introduced? Then but a point number six. Kyunki humare Indian eco ke syllabus mein hai. I usually consider it differently. Is public goods. Public goods ke related, you should be aware about everything. You must be aware, aware about what are the concept of public versus private good. You must be aware about the properties. Ki what is rivalrousness? What is excludability? 
हाँ वॉट आर क्लब गुड्स वॉट इज नॉर् वॉट इज कॉमन गुड वॉट इज ट्रेजिडी ऑफ कॉमन राइट बेटा सब कुछ पब्लिक गुड्स से रिलेटेड यू हैव टू बी अवेयर अबाउट दैट सेवेंथ ऑल ऑफ यू विल बी अवेयर अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्सटर्नैलिटीज बेटा एक्सटर्नैलिटीज में भी लिख लो यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव एक्सटर्नैलिटी पॉजिटिव वर्सेस नेगेटिव एक्सटर्नैलिटी and you have to be aware about the cost theorem and pigovian tax and subsidy minimum itna karna hi karna hai you have to be aware about this then you will be aware about bache the uh, system in india about the taxes matlab state government kon kon se taxes state government ke under aate kon kon se taxes which taxes come under the central government This is something you have to be aware about, ठीक है And at the same time, you must be aware about some concepts of budget. जैसे for example, अगर मैं आपसे आज पूछू बेटा that what is लखपति दीदी or what is drone दीदी तो आपको इस concept के बारे में clear होना चाहिए what is लखपति दीदी what is drone दीदी है ना तो anything from the budget can be asked to you, हाँ huh? वॉट इज नल से जल क्या है ये पॉलिसी नल से जल ऐसे कुछ भी हाँ सो आई कैन नेम एनी पॉलिसी एंड यू हैव टू बी अवेयर की वो पॉलिसी किस बारे में है वॉट इट स्पीक्स अबाउट देन नाइन्थ बेटा रेलवे में वी हैव डन ऑल ऑफ दिस की वेन द फर्स्ट रेलवे वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड वॉट वॉज द रोल ऑफ रेलवे हाँ एंड फर्स्ट पैसेंजर ट्रेन कौन सी थी सो यू यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट ऑल दो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल्सो एंड बेटा मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज टैक्सेशन टैक्सेशन में क्लियरली आपको डिफरेंस पता होना चाहिए बिटवीन वॉट इज इंसिडेंस ऑफ टैक्स एंड बर्डन ऑफ टैक्स वॉट इज डेड वेट लॉस हाँ एंड बेटा इसी पे यू शुड बी अवेयर हाउ टू कैलक्यूलेट डेड वेट लॉस कैसे निकालना है टैक्स में डेड वेट लॉस राइट वॉट आर द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टैक्सेस जैसे प्रोग्रेसिव versus proportional versus regressive what are the different kind of tax ha huh? and what are the properties of an optimal tax a optimal tax ki kya properties hoti hain beta isme you should be aware about the formula also ki how to calculate incidence of tax as a ratio of the elasticities ye formula we have done this in the uh, question bank also you must in mock test also this is there आपको ये अच्छे से जानना जरूरी है दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट हाँ तो दीज आर सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ एंड बेटा ऑल दो मैं इसको इंटरनेशनल में इंक्लूड करती बट अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर सिलेबस इट्स इन इंडियन इको तो इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक्स में यू शुड बी अवेयर अबाउट डिफरेंट थ्योरीज जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई आस्क यू विच अंडर विच थ्योरी कम्स द प्रोडक्ट लाइफ साइकिल तो आपको पता होना चाहिए दैट दिस इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ न्यू ट्रेड थ्योरी If I ask you, okay, factor endowment, under what does this come? Or if I ask you, what is Stouffer-Samuelson theorem? Ah, huh. or I ask you, okay, what is Hegel-Rollin theory? Right. So, ye concepts you have to be aware about these concepts. Iske alawa, some data points you must remember. fiscal deficit of the last two years last two three years you must be aware about that the gdp growth rate inflation rate right different sectors contribution agriculture industry and service and uh, the primary deficit right beta and uh, effective revenue deficit is ka definition what is effective revenue deficit right so you must be aware about these concepts also theek hai bachche so these are the important topics and none of you should be leaving out on these topics uh, there is a high chance that there can be questions out of these topics in your exam theek hai beta okay thank you